The grades of 25 math students are listed here. Construct a frequency distribution table that includes the relative frequency. Notice the only grades listed here are A, B, C, D, or F. We will use each grade listed in the data set as a class. Now, we will count how many data points fall into each class. For the first class F, there are two data points. And for the second class D, there are three data points. Add up the frequency from each class, and the total should be the number of grades for 25 students. From the frequency distribution table, we can see that there are two students with the grade F. Likewise, there are four students with the grade A. To calculate the relative frequency for each class, simply take the frequency for each class and divide by the total frequency. So, for the first class F, relative frequency is 2 divided by 25 equals 0 0.08. And for the second class D, relative frequency is 3 divided by 25 equals 0 0.12. Add up the relative frequency from each class, and the total should be 1. 28 orders were made, and the number of burgers sold per order are listed here. This order sold 4 burgers, and this order sold 6 burgers. Construct a frequency distribution table that includes the relative frequency. Notice. The lowest number in the data set is 2, and the highest number in the data set is 8. Since the range from the lowest to the highest number is very small, we will use each individual number in the data set as a class. Now, we count how many data points fall into each class. For the first class 2, there are 3 data points. And for the second class, three, there are five data points. Add up the frequency from each class, and the total should be 28 orders. From the frequency distribution table, we can see that there were seven orders where five burgers were sold per order. Likewise, there were four orders where six burgers were sold per order. To calculate the relative frequency for each class, simply take the frequency for each class and divide by the total frequency. So for the first class, 2, relative frequency is 3 divided by 28 equals 0 0.11. And for the second class, 3, relative frequency is 5 divided by 28 equals 0 0.18. Add up the relative frequency from each class, and the total should be 1, or very close to 1 due to rounding errors from each step.